The cities on Puget Sound have had a long-term rivalry, and the most famous rivalry of all was between Seattle and Tacoma. One of the focal points of that rivalry is what has become one of the greatest place name controversies in Northwest history, and that is, what do you call Mount Rainier, or should I say, Mount Tacoma? We'll look at that slippery slope in the Mossback's Den today. So how did Mount Rainier get its name? It was named by Captain George Vancouver, who was the first known European to explore what we now call Puget Sound. And he named a lot of things in the area. He named Puget Sound itself. He named Mount St. Helens, Mount Baker. Mount Rainier he named after a friend of his in the Royal Navy, a fellow captain and later admiral, Peter Rainier. The interesting thing about Peter Rainier is not only did he never come to the Northwest, but he actually fought against America in the American Revolution. A young man from New England traveled through the region in the 1850s, and he reported in a book that the local natives called the mountain Tacoma, which meant Snowy Mountain. When the city of Tacoma was founded, they named their city after what they thought the mountain's name was, even though on the maps it showed up as Mount Rainier. A huge focus of the rivalry between Seattle and Tacoma was who was going to get the terminus of the Transcontinental Railroad. This meant linking one of the cities to the outside world and to trade beyond. Tacoma won that rivalry, and then they announced that they wanted to change the name of Mount Rainier to match the town. It was basically a large commercial branding exercise. Well, as you can imagine, people in Seattle resisted. Tacoma was feeling very cocky when it got the Transcontinental Rail terminus. Uh, one of the boosters there came up with a slogan, Seattle, Seattle, death rattle, death rattle. <laughs> they predicted that grass would soon be growing in the streets of Seattle. And they began calling it in all of their promotional literature, Mount Tacoma, or slightly more euphonious, Mount Tahoma. And it became a kind of chess game between the two cities. First, Tacoma went to the state and demanded that the mountain's name be changed. They hosted newspaper editors from across the country and put on a major PR campaign to get them to editorialize in favor of Mount Tacoma. They eventually went to Congress. Seattle retaliated. For one thing, they helped push through Rainier National Park. Uh, no one, it would not be easy to change the name of a new national park. And there were businesses in Seattle that uh, had Rainier in the name, and they didn't want to have to change the name of those businesses. But mostly, the Seattleites did not want the signature landmark of the region to be named after its biggest rival. It turns out that there's a lot of disagreement about what native peoples called the mountain. Some of the tribes had different names for it. The name Tacoma was said to be very generic. Some people questioned as to whether it was even a local Native uh, American name. There was really no scholarly agreement on what it was called and whether it was really the original name of the mountain at all. When the U.S. government's official geographic naming board looked at the controversy, they basically said the fact that it was discovered by George Vancouver, who named it Mount Rainier, takes precedence over the Native American name because the discoverer gets to name the entity. We put discoverer in quotes. <laughs> so the Rainier, Tacoma, Tahoma controversy still burbles along, even though officialdom has said it's not interested in changing the name. In 2015, the U.S. government changed the name of Mount McKinley in Alaska to Mount Denali, and it was taking a local uh, native indigenous name and applying it to the peak. At that time, a number of people suggested, hey, it's time to reconsider Mount Rainier. One of the native activists who has recommended changing the name of Mount Rainier is Robert Satyakam, and he wanted to change the name to Tiswak. That proposal hasn't gone very far. Now that we're re-looking at the importance and reapplication of Native American heritage on the landscape, the Mount Rainier controversy, like the old volcano, could erupt at any time. <laughs>